Hey, crypto traders. Welcome to the June 8th edition of my, my weekly drop on YouTube. Um, what we'll do today is look at EOS after the top called last week, and we'll look closer at Bitcoin. Uh, but that one's been a little tricky. Um, then I'm also going to go into Bitcoin and give you guys a little Elliott Wave lesson to talk about how I um, use Elliott Wave in a very constructive, objective way to take um, risk appropriately in the market. Um, hopefully this will inform you that LA Wave is not just some interpretive method um, with very little applicability, as some people like to call it, but is very objective, yielding le levels that we can trade against in a very risk, um, a risk uh, approach to risk management. So I'll share that with you. Uh, let, without further ado, uh, let's get into it. Oh, real quick before, uh, just some quick housekeeping. Um, I'm in the process of dropping um, yesterday's webinar with my subscribers. This is just a sample for some of you. You'll find some of it informative for um, trading some of the coins that were requested by subscribers. Uh, and that's processing right now, so it should be up pretty soon. Uh, check it out. Uh, um, all right, so let's look at um, EOS real quick. I mean, as you know, I was looking for a top to come in um, in this region. And uh, I think we were down a little bit when I shared that with you. Uh, and it looks like we've got that nice top. As, um, you know, as I was saying that sometimes you get this news and that was the B1 June event for um, EOS where they shared some up, some upcoming stuff. Uh, really pretty bullish news if you ask me and at least encouraging. Um, nonetheless, we, uh, we saw the front runner sell it seems. Um, but I was looking for it because we had five waves off the low and, and, uh, and that usually brings in a top. Uh, we also had some weakening technicals and right now um, I'm looking at this as a potential a way bottom though it's not convincing yet we've got technical divergence saying we could potentially turn up but it hasn't really taken any level of rally here but um, I am expecting a B wave rally shortly um, and then I expect another fall in this larger a wave um, which uh, would come down to 447 um, at least that's the ideal target um, and then uh, the, while well, I have a red arrow here because that potentially could be all of a very shallow wave two potentially um, we can see that wave two um, come in deeper down into this box. Um, uh, even 296 would be a very typical retrace for that wave two. So we were going to be in correction for a while, at least in my view, um, in EOS, um, with that top being pretty important. But this, to me, is going to set up a larger third wave. So that's going to produce a very nice uh, rest of our 2019 whenever this chooses to bottom. So excited about that one. Um, it's been one of the alts that I've um, been trading pretty aggressively myself. All right, so um, now let's dive into Bitcoin. And, um, you know, Bitcoin was tricky. Uh, I was looking for um, 8,700 to hold, and it didn't. And I thought potentially we had a, a very ugly five waves. I'll zoom in a little bit here, right here, and we breached 8,700. Um, and you, you'll see in the comments from last week that I said it may, we may have something more bullish at hand. But then we broke, um, broke support, and I had that at 8,151. And um, now we're obviously in a deeper correction and I don't see it done and, and um, I have no reason to see it done anytime soon. Um, also, just real quick on the technicals, let's find those. Um, sorry, let me bring it up. Um, you know, I remember I, I speak to the RSI often and, um, and I'm looking now for RSI on the daily potentially to come into that 30 level. Um, I've said I've said when once you're in a bull market, the 30 is a really nice area to buy, and um, we have uh, RSI down through that support level I called out last week, and it seems to be aiming down to that 30 region. It may not quite get to 30, but down in that region, that should, from a technical basis, indicate a um, a buy zone. And we'll get more specific about targets in a second here, as I give you a quick Elliott Wave lesson. And for that, to start this lesson, I'm going to um, zoom us out on the weekly, real quick. Um, there's a couple ways I count the long term for Bitcoin. I mean, I, you know, if you guys have followed along, you know, I'm eventually looking for us to come up into at least 65 um, and most likely six figures. Um, and even if we really stretch 225, but somewhere up there, we should get another major top. Um, but um, the question right now is, Ben, whether we hold this 3000 low or we drop back into the 1600 region. And right now I prefer that 3000 holds. Now, how do we derive that number? Well, I, I was talking 3000 since February, 2018. Um, as Trader Expo talks, you can see me on video um, where I discussed that when the February rally failed, February, 2018 rally failed. All right, so how that's derived is um, once we have a one, two, and then this really strong third wave, um, there's a tendency for fourth waves to hold 
um, either 382, uh, 382 retrace, 38.2%, or um, can be deep at 50%. And when we look at this, um, that gives us a level of 47.50 on this on this data set, and 30.60 um, for the 50% retrace. And right now we've hold 31.20. So potentially right now I hold this rally to be complete as a wave four corresponding to this wave two and this wave five up here. So um, again, that's how we derive these targets. And I'm watching for this to kind of twist into a corrective structure for this potential B wave top indicating that we go lower so but right now so far so good all right so that 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 retrace 50 percent to 30 38 38.2 is really important because when we go on to our shorter term fractals actually let's go back to that real quick um, we go on to some closer in fractals we can apply the same principle all right so we have um we have a uh, right now a three wave rally off of let's get this into the daily come on all right, we have a three-wave rally off of our uh, February low, or off the December low and then the February wave two. And then we have a three-wave top here in a B wave, which is likely part of this larger fourth wave. Now the question again is, where are we gonna hold? And um, yeah, let's see that retrace out here. So we, re we uh, measure the, th the length of the third and we get 382 retrace, 38.2%, and that gets us to 5,900. Doesn't mean we get there in this wave four, but it, that is an ideal place for us to bottom, and a deep wave four would be 5,300, much below 5,300. And even though the Elliott wave rule is that we cross, um, the four should not cross one, um, we're, not, we're pretty far from that. 5,300 is deep enough for me based on this principle of 50% retrace to stop out of um, my swing trade, all right? So I don't wanna see us get that low. All right, so that's um, that's one way we measure the risk in this wave four. And so um, again, as RSI hits 30, I'll be more aggressively long and I'll be watching for us to, to show a bottom pattern um, above 5,900 ideally, okay? That's one way of looking at this. Now, we zoom in, I'm using this hourly chart. Um, uh, we have a potential WXY pattern. The, I call it B wave sometimes, but this one's actually an X, which they're more kind of morphologically the same. Um, and, and, and simply because Bitcoin has a tendency to follow the WXY um, form. And what we do know from WXY is, is that the C and Y is, has a near symmetric relationship to the A of Y. And, and when I measure that, I have 100% reach um, extension here and 138, 138.2%. Those are the two fibs I'm looking for this C of Y to hold, and that's the relationship between the, the C to the A of the Y wave, all right? And so that gives us a level of 66.45 and uh, a, a lower region of 61.50. So while I'm looking at that 5,900 for this to hold, right now I only get a projection to 61.50 at the lowest, um, unless something else shows. So I'm looking at that level also for a bottom pattern and um I, you know personally in my own positioning i'm i'm, I'm long on a long-term perspective but i got hedges on uh, short trades that i hope to profit from in the in the short term for this um y wave down so that gives us some very measured risk um you know if you're trading on leverage especially that measured risk is super important principle and an la wave you know if you're using it properly and learning how to use it with the fibonacci's um, which we do teach on the site uh, you can start to put together these um, these uh, projections. And then also these projections become your invalidation points for your account and your trade. So um, to me, it's a very objective approach to trading. And I hope that helps this week. I hope that um, helps you understand where I'm looking at this market going, how I'm trading it, and how I am uh, you know, you, you know, keeping my own self right uh, and where my thesis kind of falls apart. All right, guys. Happy trading this week. I hope you guys have the best of luck out there and thanks a lot.